All right, guys, happy weekend. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I have had a really good week. Um, even though we're all stuck at home, finally trying to get into the routine of things. And I know most of you started school this week, so that um, is good, keep you guys busy a little bit. Um, so we're gonna be making a chameleon today. I'm really excited. Um, I found some really cool things out about a chameleon. Um, they are very different than a lot of, of animals in this world. So I'm pretty excited to share that with you. If you don't know anything about it already, I have only seen a chameleon a few times at, um, at like the pet store. And then I do know a family who owns a chameleon. I think it's pretty cool. His name is Einstein. Um, and I remember when they got him and he was like really, really little and now he's like pretty big. So, um, they grow, they grow pretty fast. Um, and they are pretty sensitive to like heat and light and all of that. So I'm going to give you some fun facts about different things, um, that, uh, I know about them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the eye. So you're going to draw on the side of the paper, not in the middle so that you have space. Um, you're going to draw a circle. You're going to put two lines side to side, just like that. And then you're going to color in just part of the eyeball, just like that. Now, one thing I found out that's really cool about their eyes is that they can turn, they can look um, in two different directions at the same time. So if I'm looking forward right now, I can only see what's in front of me. These guys could look this way and they could look this way at the same time, or they could look this way and this way, or they could look this way and this way. It's pretty crazy. So, um, all right, we're gonna do the head. So it's kind of like a triangle. So you're gonna come down and up, and then you're going to curve a little bit and then come down, just like that. And then there is gonna be an eye, a little um, back of the eye on the other side. And whatever kind of mouth you want, maybe you want ears to be open mouth. Maybe it's about to chomp on a leaf. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and then another cool thing I found out is that they change their body colors um, based on communication or regulating their body. So if they were really, really cold, they're probably gonna change to a lighter color to bring in more um, sun. If they, or sorry, the opposite. If they're really, really cold, they're gonna turn darker so they can pull in the sun. Um, so now we're gonna draw the body. So you're gonna start a little bit lower than the top. You're gonna go lower than that and you're gonna come out around and then at the very end you're gonna swirl it like that okay um one thing that is really kind of interesting about their tails is usually a lizard of some sort can regrow the tail so let's say their tail gets cut off let's say another animal tries to eat it um it rips off for whatever reason a lizard usually can grow their tail back and these bad boys cannot once their tail is gone they cannot grow their tail back so i thought that was pretty interesting um all right so for their legs we're gonna do two kind of skinny hills so the one closer to the head is going to be longer and taller and then the one closer to the tail is going to be shorter just like that um if you're waiting you can make your little spiky doos and as you get closer to the tail i want you to get smaller just like that okay and then from those two little hills we're gonna make two lines like this and two lines like that all right and then you're gonna make almost like a little wrist so you're gonna make two more little lines that come out and then make a hill to come in so their hands are kind of cool they're like salad tongs so they only have two little um they have one toe right here and one toe right here and that's how they hold on to the branches um so i thought that was really interesting too that they only have two little hand two little fingers on each side Um, all right, and then we're going to attach the body. So you're going to come across the back. You got to go the back of the body, or sorry, the back of the legs, and then come out and down and touch that side. It's 
some other cool things I found out about them is they can't really hear that good. Um, so they're so slow, so funny. They can't really hear. They're just kind of moseying along. If you ever watch them, they kind of like do this like weird, like slow-mo walk. It's pretty funny. All right. Um, the only thing we have to do before you color it is we do need to make a little bit of a background. So we're going to make, you got to make sure that it goes below the legs, right? Because if you go up here, then the legs are not holding onto anything. They're just kind of hanging there. You got to go under that. And then if you want to, like in mine, um, I'm going to add a little bit of texture to that um, branch that it's on. And then if you want to behind, you can make those trees. I'm going to add some more in here. Make sure they go through all the way. Pay attention to where your lines are. Beautiful. Um, another cool thing I found out is um, because they change their body to communicate, whether they're like relaxed or there's danger around or whatever um, it is that they want to tell another creature is that um, they have skin crystals. So there's little crystals on their skin that um, are on top and that is what lets them change color. So it's not actually their skin that's changing color, um, but it's little like crystally like scales that they have on top. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I've always found these guys to be pretty fascinating. Um, I think they're funny the way they move like little aliens. Um, and I always go, every time I go to the family's house that I know, Mr. Einstein, I always want to go over and just check him out and see what he's doing um, and watch these little guys move because they're pretty, they're pretty interesting. Um, they live in, most of them, I should say, live in a little um, island called Madagascar. So I'm sure you've watched the movie where the zoo animals go to see those monkeys out in the jungle. Um, so it's a little teeny tiny island and they have a lot of these. Um, there's over 50 different species. So I thought that was really cool too. Um, there's a lot of different kinds. So this is one kind. Maybe you've seen a different type in another um, in another drawing that you've done or you've seen it in a different spot. So here's our other little guy. Um, so you guys are welcome to color it, make it look really nice, and then tag me in it, post it, or just share it with me so I can see how they turned out. Um, and then I will see you again tomorrow for another video, and we'll go back to being live on Monday. All right, have a great day and enjoy your weekend. Bye guys.